In this video, we're gonna be discussing the angles in standard position and the coterminal angles. So, umpisahan natin sa standard position. So, let's say we have this angle. Diba? We start with initial side. Ito yung initial side. And we end at terminal side. So, this is the angle or the measure of our angle. So, ang angle natin ay binubuo ng dalawang rays joining their endpoints. So, yung endpoints ng dalawang rays natin, yun ay ang vertex. Ngayon, kung ilalagay natin ang ating angle sa ating Cartesian plane, so this is how it looks. So, this is our initial side and this is our terminal angle or terminal side. So, ito yung measure ng angle natin. So, how are we going to know if our angle is in a standard position? An angle is in a standard position if the vertex is at the origin. So, here is the vertex of our angle. Nandoon siya sa origin. And the initial side is on the positive x-axis. So, as we can see, yung initial side ng ating angle ay nasa positive x-axis. So, in this case, this angle or this angle is in standard position. So, may dalawang motion or direction sa ating angle. Ang positive at negative. If the angle is positive, the terminal side moves in counterclockwise direction. So, salungat siya sa ikot ng ating clock. So, this is an example. This one. So, from initial side, so, umikot siya pa counterclockwise. Another one. So, pa counterclockwise yung ikot nila. And this one. Okay? If the angle is negative, the terminal side moves in clockwise direction. This is an example of negative angle. So, from initial side, ang ikot niya ay kagaya ng ikot ng ating orasan. So, here. This is another one. Okay. So, ito yung angle in standard position. Now, ano naman ang coterminal angles? So, mamaya along our discussion, madidiscuss natin yung definition ng coterminal angles. But let's start with an example. Determine the two coterminal angles of 45 degrees. So, getting coterminal angles are simply by this. By adding 360 degrees and by subtracting 360 degrees. So, the first one, so dun sa given natin, determine the two coterminal angles. So, isang positive, isang negative coterminal angle. For the positive coterminal angle, 45 degrees plus 360 degrees, that is equivalent to 405 degrees. So, papaano natin yan makikita sa ating graph? So, ito yung halimbawa. Ito yung graph ng 45 degrees. Ito yung initial side. Then, going to terminal side, 45 degrees. So, saan naman ang 405 degrees? So, here is the 405 degrees. So, ito yung 45, di ba? Then, yung 405 from our initial side, the positive x-axis. So, ayan. One revolution, more than one revolution, di ba? Ang one revolution ay 360 then, 405. So, what do you notice? Tulad sila ng initial side at tulad sila ng terminal side. Ano lang yung pinagkaiba nila? Yung 405, umikot siya ng isang beses sa ating Cartesian plane. So, yun yung pagkakaiba nilang dalawa. Now, let's have the negative coterminal angle. So, in, coterminal, in negative coterminal angle, we just... Uh, simply subtract 360 degrees dun sa given. 45 degrees minus 360, that is equivalent to negative 315 degrees. So, papaano natin siya makikita sa ating Cartesian plane? So, kanina, ito yung 45 natin. Tapos, ito yung 405. 
So, yung 315, since it is negative, its direction is clockwise. So, from our initial side, clockwise direction, 315. Okay? So, what do you notice dun sa tatlong angles? Dun sa 45, dun sa 405, tsaka dun sa negative 315 degrees. So, lahat sila ay iisa ang initial side at lahat sila ay iisa ang terminal side. So, how are we going to define coterminal angles? Correct. Coterminal angles are angles in standard position. So, yun yung tatandaan natin. Dapat ang angle ay nasa standard position. Ano nga ba kapag nasa standard position ng isang angle? Ang kanyang initial side ay nasa positive x-axis at ang vertex niya ay nasa origin. So, yun ang standard position. And also, they have common terminal side. Para masabi natin na siya ay coterminal angle. So, meron silang common terminal side. Ulit, nasa standard position ang angles and they have common terminal side. So, kagaya ng tatlo dito sa ating example. So, yung tatlong graph. And also, angles have infinite coterminal angles. Okay? So, halimbawa, umikot pa ng isa from 405, isa pang 360. Okay? That is also a coterminal angle. Kasi they have initial side and they have terminal side. So, coterminal angles. Let's have another example. Determine the two coterminal angles of 250 degrees. So, simply add 360. So, that is 610. That is the positive coterminal angle. Next is by subtracting 360. That is equivalent to negative 110 degrees. That is the negative coterminal angle. Now, what if the angle is beyond or greater than 360? So, find the smallest positive and smallest negative coterminal angles of 500 degrees. The first thing that we're going to do is of course, if we're going to add, kagaya nung unang, yung dalawang examples na natin na nauna, diba? if we're going to find the positive coterminal angle, we add. So, dito mag-a-add tayo, testing natin. So, if we're going to add 500 plus 360, that is equivalent to 860 degrees. So, that is the positive coterminal angle. Now, if we're going to subtract to find the negative, kasi di ba pag nag-subtract tayo, magiging negative. But in this case, hindi siya magiging negative kasi 500 is larger than 360. So, 500 minus 360 is equivalent to 140 degrees. And that is the smallest positive coterminal angle. Okay? Kasi yun yung hinahanap natin. Yung smallest positive, tsaka yung smallest negative. So, that is the smallest positive coterminal angle. Now, to get the smallest negative coterminal angle, gagamitin natin yung 140. Kasi di ba same lang naman sila dahil coterminal angle. Now, 140 degrees minus 360 degrees is equivalent to negative 220 degrees. And that is our smallest negative coterminal angle. And this is the end of this video. I hope that you have learned something from here. And if you do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you.